Hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program and thank you for joining in with me today. Again, I'm Exterminator and uh, I've read through uh, most of the comments from the previous videos and uh, looked at your tips and your suggestions and your feedback, uh, which I really do appreciate guys. So thank you so much for leaving uh, all the feedback and uh, it seems like overall you guys are really enjoying the videos, which is awesome. And uh, you've given me some really good advice. Uh, I saw some people were frustrated by the fact that I was seemingly ignoring the tutorial messages and stuff. I wasn't really doing it on purpose. Um, I was just kind of focused on the building and just didn't really happen to pay attention to them. Um, I did just read through all of them though that were up here uh, and learned some really cool things as well as some stuff you guys told me about. Now, for example, uh, I kept going into my inventory to pull items and such, which got a bit tiresome. And uh, I somehow failed to notice previously um, that we have this hot bar here uh, that is assigned a hotkey. So like power, gathering, uh, logistics, etc. So by hitting these, we can then select these and there's even hotkeys for each one of these if we want, um, which is a much easier way to um, access these items. So thank you so much for mentioning that. And uh, also the fact that buildings stack. So that was also in the tutorial messages though. Um, I'm gonna clear some of these trees, but what I'm gonna try to do, and from my understanding of the tutorial message, this should be possible is to stack another one of these on top and have it be doing research. And if I'm understanding how they work uh, correctly, um, then uh, theoretically the matrix cube should travel into the next one automatically. Uh, but that still somewhat remains to be seen um, until we actually build another one and put it up there. Uh, so it looks like we're lacking some circuits and iron. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, now also another great suggestion was to start using the boxes which I think can stack as well uh, and you know to, to get materials uh, that way uh, and we are going to do that let me just see what else we're missing um, just some iron itself so come get some iron I think uh, also reading through the comments some people had some interesting uh, thoughts and uh, it kind of got me thinking uh, I come from Factorio. If you're new to my channel, um, I pretty much only play Factorio most of the time. Uh, if, obviously, if you're a, a current member of the channel, you know that. And I think that it's both a hindrance and a, uh, you know, advantage <laughs> for me here. Um, some of my knowledge for Factorio certainly transfers to this and has kind of helped me just, you know, go through some parts of it very easily. But I think it's also maybe a little bit of a hindrance uh, because I'm just so used to how Factorio plays. Um, I may be just not realizing some of the very intuitive, uh, obvious things here because they're different than Factorio and I'm just automatically thinking with my Factorio brain and knowledge. So I'm going to try to kind of just maybe set that aside, just kind of let go of, of what I know from Factorio, uh, aside from the very, very basics and just kind of go with what the game shows me here and uh, hopefully do that better uh, in, in moving forward here. So. We have another one of these. Um, let's go ahead and place this on top. And uh, this does have a research mode, as you guys mentioned. Um, but I'm gonna go in here and I'm actually going to change this to research. Uh, now, I don't know. So these are both set to research. I think I wanted actually this one to be. Okay, are they maybe, they're synced. Okay, interesting. So we can't actually set one to cubes and one to research. Um, we can, however, do cubes. Um, it seems though, um, it. I thought, my understanding of the tutorial message was that it uh, sent them upwards, like into the next one. Uh, like if we look at these, we look at the, the this one here. Um, it says they can be built vertically. Only supplying sufficient raw materials on the lower level, the matrix allows will automatically transport the raw materials to the upper level and transport the products back to the first level at the same time. Just that the operating mode of any layer in the matrix labs on other layers will automatically synchronize. Um, so, I would have thought this should go, I mean, it's getting the circuits, which is quite interesting. Um, it's getting more than enough circuits, but it's not getting coils. Um, I'm thinking it's potentially because these sorters here uh, actually, ah, okay, so we can actually filter this, which is quite nice. Uh, this maybe could be used as some sort of splitter type deal. Um, this actually isn't transporting them in quick enough. So what we're gonna do, uh, let's go ahead and start here uh, by 
extending this. I'm going to extend this tile. This can also be a lot closer. I'm being a bit wasteful here. Uh, but we're going to extend that, and I would like to see... Not enough materials for this, huh? Okay. Let's uh, craft a few more of these guys. Uh, I'd like to see if we can do this. Okay. So, by doing a double input, um, this should theoretically start getting them up to that level, and they are. So, we have plenty of these. Uh, we will need another matrix lab in order to actually do the research. So we will have to, tran it looks like these transport through each other, so I should be able to just pull the matrices out of the bottom one. Uh, also, let's just get some belt crafting. I am a little bit out of materials here. Uh, let's see, storage, what would this be under? Not entirely sure. Research? Okay, here we go. Uh, Alright, so I don't know how high these can go, at least three high. Uh, I wonder if I can just do a sorter from one building to the next. Uh, no harm in trying, right? I think I may need one extra space there, so we'll see. Uh, I'm really I'm really interested if, if that's a possibility at all. So if we do from here to here, aha, so we can indeed do that, uh, theoretically. So this is set to research mode automatically. Uh, this guy, I think, yeah, we're going to go into our uh, deconstruction mode with X. And uh, then we're going to go into power here. And F1, it will take. There's a little bit of reach for me on my keyboard. But if we do that. Uh, OK, well, this is going into there. Um, that's not actually powering this. Interesting. Um, we do have a research. Maybe I don't do that. It's entirely possible that it just won't work. Interesting. Okay, let's actually try this with a belt. You know, some of this is trial and error. You know, there's... There's some things that we're just going to have to kind of find out on our own. So, you kind of just pull a belt. All right. Sorry. Do this. I forgot that mostly only smelters, so we need the belt first. Uh, okay, so if we come out, uh, let's come out just from the middle here. Let's just do that. Uh, just see if this works. Okay, so that seems to work. Maybe it just doesn't like the sorter. Uh, going straight into the other one, or perhaps I was just doing it incorrectly as well. That's <laughs> entirely possible. Uh, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if if maybe I was just doing something wrong there. Uh, but let's just get these going. I will need some more fuel. Or maybe I was just selecting the wrong thing, but it wasn't even spitting them out. I'm not sure. We'll just have to see. I mean, this certainly works. Now, we do have some power issues, uh, fairly significant ones, in fact. So, we want to get some wind, more wind turbines going. We need more iron. Uh, we should set up some chests as well. I, I think perhaps that would be a good... Uh, let's do that. That would be a good thing to be doing here. So, let's, let's take some chests. Let's build some chests here. So storage, uh, if we pull this off of the end of the belt, I feel like this could maybe work quite well. Um, so let's hit F here, get some storage chests made, start out, close that, close that, and we now have this. So, ooh, oh wow, these are quite large. Um, I think I wanted another one of these here potentially, so we could pull off, I don't, I didn't really want to pull off before the production necessarily. Um, I would have very much liked to have this come afterwards. Of course, I only really left room for one of these, so <laughs> uh, maybe my plan is not as solid as I thought it was. Uh, we'll just put, I don't know if we can, maybe we can cap this. Uh, this actually, this is a raised belt, isn't it? Okay. Perhaps we will just pull this from here. And again, I don't know, I think I can put this right here and then do that. So if we go storage. into here. Which can be used to store cargo. Slots that can be you can automated. manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. You can manually store. Okay, yeah. So if we use a sorter now at this stage. 
So I've limited this. Um, I don't I don't really know exactly what things stack to, uh, to be honest. So we're just going to start with 10 stacks of, of whatever it is and just see. I'm not sure how far they stack. Um, and then we do need, though, to make a few of these windmills. There will be more power generation later on. We do need to find some coal. Our, our mech energy is not looking very good. We are going to put some more wood in there for now, but... Uh, I don't know what these stack, like I said, 50s, 100s. Um, honestly, I'm going to limit this just to one for now. I, I truly don't know how far this stacks. Uh, and then let's get another one. Uh, and we can place this on iron, I think, without uh, too much of an issue, I think. It's just kind of hodgepodge. We're going very spaghetti here, but uh, these do stack again, though, I I'm pretty sure. So we could do some sort of raised belt um, for this as well if we wanted to. And then this guy will just lower all the way down to one, just for now, until we kind of see how far it stacks. Uh, we are having some very significant power problems, though, so... Uh, maybe just put... See where else we can put some, some power smelting. I, I think, really, ideally, I would actually just have a full power area. Um, I don't really foresee putting much... I mean, we're going to put some smelters in here, but I think it's slightly unnecessary to have all that many too close. Okay, so there's apparently a limit. Uh, let's see. Maybe put another one out here. Again, very spaghetti-ish, but that's fine. So if we now look at our power graph, uh, we can see we're still consuming maybe slightly more than we're generating, uh, but it seems to be a, a bit better. These take quite a lot of power, I think, is the main issue here. So we go to map. Can we... Crude oil... So we look over here, iron ore, I don't see... Oh, coal. Unknown. Okay, well... <laughs> uh, this actually, this looks so cool from this view, doesn't it? Uh, and then this, I'm not sure quite what that's indicating. Uh, but you can see how much area we're spanning. This could actually be quite a good... So this looks like coal. This looks like potentially coal over here. Uh, let me see if there's any slightly closer by chance, and if there's not, then I don't think there is. Okay, so we could go retrieve some coal. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure we have the materials to craft some uh, belts and such, and then I want to go set up a miner on coal. Um, we will have to extend quite a large amount of power out there, so these stack to 100. So I'm going to right-click to take 50. And, yeah, so the coal, um, I'd like to get a miner on it and just have it dumping into a box out there. Eventually, we'll want to belt it in. That's quite a lot of belt for, for how far away it is. Uh, and then, you know, eventually we will, of course, very much want, uh, like, machines actually actually making these, like, like assemblers, I would hope, can maybe make these. Um, you know, sort of crafting all this automatic or manually. Smelting pur purification is done. So we can now get silicon ore, um, and it's made to it's used to make high purity silicon crystals, the graphite, um, and this has more applications, but it is a pretty decent fuel value if we wanted to use that for ourselves. And then the high purity silicon um, made can meet most of its needs. Okay, so that's cool. No more tutorial messages for that as of yet. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue crafting some more of what we might need. So we need that. Um, I think I'm just going to set up a power thing out there. That would probably be smart, because, you know, we'll probably add more out there anyways. Uh, let's just make one of these, and I think it should be in good shape. Okay. I've still not really figured out... Okay. Well, I am double jumping, but it does not seem to want to let me fly. I'm not entirely sure about that. Okay. Uh not really sure. I think I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, I think, no, I'm pretty sure it was this way, wasn't it? So there's that. Okay, here's the coal. This is not actually as far as I thought it was. Now, if we go over here, it's automatically flying over the water, but I know there's a way to manually fly, I believe. Okay, so pull up two, F1, and we'll rotate this, and let's see, how many veins can we cover here? Uh, collide with other objects. Is that Would that be me? No. Okay, so that's five. That's not great. I'd like to hit six. Seems like that's probably... Ooh, that's that's good right there. Six. Okay. 
It's gonna do that. Um, this is actually not that far away. We could belt it in. We actually have a fair fair bit of belt here. Uh, in fact, why don't we? Maybe we should just do that. We can make nine more belt. Not exactly sure how far this will get us, but forty something. How far does that get us in total? Oh, this actually gets us surprisingly close. So if we just extend this out, I don't really see much of an issue with doing this. We may have an issue with with it like running into our, our stone mining here, but uh, also research needs to be done. So now somewhere, kilowatts, Power storage facility. Okay, so like an accumulator. Um, someone in the comments said that they think somewhere around the midline was a research to get those like fuel cells for my mech. Um, I'm not really sure where that might be. Um, I mean, surely we can unlock it at some point, I would hope. Uh, ooh, looks like maybe some better stuff there. So titanium environmental modification. Ooh, these look like like platforms of some sort, some um, some such. So can only level surface to zero altitude. If you use foundation for high ground, you will get soil pile. If you use foundation for the ocean or low lying areas, you must consume it. Okay, so this is, this is pretty cool. Steel smelting. Prove logistics. We get a splitter. Ooh, right here. Okay, this is what we want. We want this right right here uh, all right so looks like maybe about six about four four minutes four and a half minutes pretty cool that it estimates our timeline there uh, all right so there's no power just oh and no belt still <laughs> oh my poor little robots just couldn't do it couldn't quite reach that far this is in fact coal right yes okay We'll grab some of this. The fuel value, I would assume, is much better. 2.7 mega duels compared to the 1.5 of wood. Not actually as uh, good as I thought it would be in comparison, but certainly better than nonetheless. And how is this bridging over the water? Pretty nicely, in fact. All right, we'll go back and get some materials. Uh, to, to this, but we don't need it right this moment, but it would not hurt to get more. Um, so the research, we could definitely expedite our research. I'm very tempted to build yet another um, matrix lab. Uh, we, we really don't seem to be hitting any major bottlenecks in our production of any sort. Um, it, it actually looks like the possible limitation is on the research. The the speed within here because these are backing up so with that in mind let's go ahead and build another one of these we need glass okay so stone well why don't we uh i know i, I keep it i know it's hotkeys it'll take me a little bit to learn these hotkeys fully and start utilizing them um to their best extent so let's bear with me there uh, let's get some stone while we're at it certainly probably wouldn't hurt Get this here. Uh, I don't really want to be like blocking that, so I'm gonna actually do this. And this is a pretty good. Uh, that is that. Oh, that's seven. Let's do that. Obviously, it's also capped just by the speed at which it can mine, but still, it will not run out completely uh, quite as fast, be being um, you know covering more ores there. So uh, let's just make another one of these. Probably gonna have to add more primary power, I would imagine. We're probably already hitting our, our upper limits here, as you can see. <laughs> we really just need to set up a, a power field of some sort, I think. So we'll take the stone. Um, glass, I would assume, is made uh, in a smelter. Yeah. Okay. For now, though. For now, we'll just make... Uh, Make two of these, you know, why not? We'll need to start getting some glass going. Yeah, so these are quite backed up. It's really this that is core energy is depleting. Well, that's unfortunate. That coal did not last long. <laughs> we really need to be turning that coal into the better fuel source there. 
Uh, Alright, so if we go over to here. Uh, now these will stack though, and they'll copy the, the thing that's happening. So theoretically, we should, we're, we're going to have a power surge, but theoretically we should be able to do this, and both of them should work, which is absolutely brilliant. I love this feature so much, and I appreciate you guys pointing that out as well. Uh, Alright, so we need some more power, uh, pretty desperately here, in fact. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just craft three of these. Uh, and let's try to locate, let's try to find an area that would be suitable for our power field. I, again, I do like utilizing these within the bills just because they have their own power coverage, so it kind of, uh, you know, reduces the amount of these Tesla turrets we would need. Uh, but it's not super realistic, like, it's, it's not going to work far down the line when we just have tons of production. There's just not really going to be, uh, I don't think there's really going to be room for that type of stuff. Um, I don't really foresee us building a ton over here, at least for a while. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna start our, our power field kind of over in this area. Let's see if we can do that, and then kind of just I mean this is kind of nice too, just along the shoreline. I mean that makes sense a little bit. Obviously it's a tiny little puddle, not an ocean by any means, but uh, okay. So satisfaction. Uh, if we take a look here, power. Still really not quite what we would like it to be. Uh, also, you know, of course we do have other planets that we would need to go to eventually. Um, the research is very nearly done, it looks like, potentially. Three seconds left, two seconds, one second. And we've done it, improved logistics system. So we now have the ability to make splitters, which is something I was wondering about last episode. Um, I wonder if we can put these on top of a already existing belt. It's like not. It's fine. Can easily deconstruct it. And it looks like much like satisfactory perhaps. Um, this is actually a four-way splitter. Um, so you know goes in one end and we can send out any of the other three. So I guess maybe a three-way splitter. Um, so this is actually really nice. I don't really have much of a use for splitting quite yet uh, aside from the fact uh, this may be eventually because I may want to send this farther out this way. So Potentially what I'll do is um, split this, like extend this, maybe move this a little bit and then split so it goes out this way and then continues on that way. Probably a similar thing for the iron as well. Uh, the iron is just continually going this way, but that's fine. Uh, so we need to continue doing research. Uh, I don't really know, I mean, this is quite a tech tree. This is a pretty significant tech tree and I'm not sure exactly what all we need to be doing. Solar collection looks like something that could be quite good. Um, they generate 360 kilowatts opposed to the, oh, it's just 300, that's not actually that much better. My area, actually, yeah, that's really not, that's not as, as good as I <laughs> thought. 60 more kilowatts is not really that big of a jump, if I'm being honest. Um, so there's some crystal stuff going on here. Uh, lattice structure, use more advanced method, smelt high strength crystals, uh, modification, steel smelting, you know, certainly something we're going to need, I would imagine. Thermal power, now this looks quite good. 2.16 megawatts, use combustible materials such as coal as fuel to generate electrical energy between the energy output and the calorific value of the, com ooh, I really have to think in this, can we, so we can queue that up. Also. We should be getting some mech upgrades while we're in here. Uh, so if we research consumption and electric motor, which we obviously have none of at the moment, um, that requires ooh some of this, some of these energy matrixes, which I'm not sure I've even unlocked yet. Universe exploration, universe um, view, vein distribution on the planet. Okay, I mean this is very cheap. We could certainly do that. Um, this one, I think, it's only 10, wait, that says it takes 10. Why does it take 86? Uh, okay, and we don't do that. We'll just let it sit there. Uh, all right, I'm seeing, I, I kind of hope this may be something farther down the line. Um, I had a hope initially that our mech could be recharged by standing in a, uh, like, local electric supply area. Uh, I don't know. That was just something I kind of hoped would be the case. It seems like it's not 
really? Um, maybe later down the line? I really don't know at this point. Um, but even if not, you know, once we get some higher fuel stuff, we do, uh, I was reading up as well, we do have just some passive generation um, in our in our mech that, you know, will just passively generate some stuff. What on earth are we missing for this? I don't know why we can't make those, but I should probably be boxing up everything, to be quite honest. Another one of those. Uh, so this is still going fairly slow. It looks like these are still backed up. I mean, this makes... So it's three seconds, so that's a 20 a minute, opposed to... This is a hash. I'm not sure if this is like a one... to one deal here. Um, it certainly doesn't seem... It's 10 in here. It actually does seem to be keeping up. What about this one? Okay, so I guess maybe it's just the buffer that was left in there. Definitely do want some robot like running speeds here. <laughs> um, now the labs, I don't know. The labs, I think, can only use these matrixes, perhaps. So, like for example, if we want to get mechanical frame, I'm not sure if if this would how we would quite do this. Um, if we would need that from our inventory or not. But we'll find out. We'll queue that up. Uh, Alright, so let's take another one of these windmills. We, we can just start placing them, but really I don't... I don't know if there... I don't think there's any line loss or anything here, so... It should be fine to just continually place them down the line here. Uh, still... Looks like the, the labs maybe surge a bit is, is what happens here. Um, but we do have our coal coming in over here, so if we wanted... Smelter, I think, or assembly machine? That is an excellent question. Um, so we researched like steel smelting is what that was. Um, if we come over here, what would this be made in? Smelting facility, okay. So we take a smelter. This may be the last thing I do here for this episode, but uh, this will also be used for future power generation, but I think this is actually a fairly decent place to start this. Um, and I'm gonna just have this box up, I think. Um, we have some faster ones as well for that secondary belt, which we got, but I think this is fine for now. Uh, and then this guy needs to make those. And we're going to... Uh, I mean, we could use these faster ones, but three trips a second opposed to the one and a half, so it's double the speed, which is quite good. Uh, I mean, we could use one of these. I don't know. Thermal power! Can I use thermal power station as power generation facility that consumes... Uh, combustibles, etc. So that will be good. Um, this is... Four seconds, two seconds. Vein distribution. Can now view the vein distribution on the planet and easily find the location of different veins. Um, you have unlocked the universe exploration. Now you can click the details display button in the lower right corner of the screen to open real-time distribution details of the ore veins. So I hit H. distribution. Um. Oh, okay. So this is like telling me how many nodes are here and how much. So there's over a million there. 0.2 million stone. Oh, this is actually quite nice. Crude oil. Ooh. Uh, so this is really, really nice. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, space navigation. Which doesn't really apply at the current moment. Uh, Alright, so. Let's build few of these I really do need to end <laughs> this episode here uh, anyway let's also I really don't want to use one of those I think one of these would be more than sufficient uh, let's box I don't know if we can actually I think a box will fit there I think I would need the land terraforming thing uh, the research is paused again because we do need that so to work on that here shortly the motors. I don't even know how we make those. I don't even see the ability to make those. Interesting. The stuff required for this. Electric motor. An assembler or replicator. Okay. Um, I don't see it in the replicator, though. Am I blind? 
I mean, I think we have the stuff. I, I, I can't see it, though. It's odd. Uh, anyway, let's, <laughs> let's finish this up. I apologize. I'm getting distracted. There's so much to, to look at in this game. Uh, so let's take a box here, like so. Rotate our view a little bit. Too close. You sure? Oh, fine. <laughs> All right. Um, that's a splitter. Here's our box. Okay, so if we do that, I am really curious. I, I am quite curious if we can go directly into here or not. I mean, you would think so. It, it lets us, so I would hope that that would work. Uh, and then we need, we do need the power, of course. So if we take a couple of these, um, we are probably going to run into some power issues, as would be expected. And it looks like it is doing it, so maybe it's just a fluke with the labs, or I had just done something incorrectly, but... Uh, so this is storing this. Uh, I think capping this to a stack is probably fine for now. Stick that in there. Open my mech view. See. So now that. So 6.3 megajoules compared to the like 2.7 or 2.5 of coal. So definitely an increase there. And uh, yes, I will figure out these motors. I'm not 100% on these. I mean, we can just make them assembler. Theoretically, we should be able to make them as well in a uh, in our replicator. But it seems that that's not an option for some reason. Um, maybe we should queue up. Maybe we should... I'll look into this afterwards. And you guys leave your tips as well. Uh, what? I mean, because, yeah, I, obviously I would imagine we've unlocked this. Maybe it's just something we need to unlock first. Uh, it's entirely possible. Environment, crystal smelting. Uh, that would probably be it. I'm done. This queue... <laughs> I miss a lot of stuff on the queue. It, it's kind of like... I keep forgetting that there's like lines at the very top and bottom. Uh, this one here, if we right click to cancel it, then that should start cranking that out. And we can queue this up afterwards. And there we go. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. And uh, hopefully this was not quite as painful as the others. Um, I'm still learning, but I did read through the tutorial messages, obviously. And I really do appreciate your tips and such. They've helped me quite a lot. Uh, and I really look forward to the next episodes where we continue to expand and we will start going to other planets as soon as we have, you know, uh, an ability to do that. And uh, I believe I believe we'll end it here. As always, uh, if you did enjoy, a like is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to keep up with all the content. And uh, any tips, thoughts, leave them below as always. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. And do take care.